Joining us now, the host of the Jason Rance Show. He's Jason Rance. Jason, it's great to have you back on. You know, this 2024 race is so much about policy and the issues. The Biden White House, they want to get rid of all gas cars. They want everybody in America to drive electric cars. You wrote about your nightmare with your electric car rental. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, so I was driving to a wedding. It happened to be in the middle of nowhere, about 90 minutes from Seattle, and I rented a car because I don't actually own one. And they gave me an EV. That was my only choice. They gave away the car that I actually wanted. And I knew it was going to be trouble because how often do you pass any kind of place to plug in on the way to the middle of nowhere? And of course, as I'm driving there, my eyes are glued to the dashboard, looking at how many miles I have left before the battery dies. And by the time I got to the wedding, it told me I needed uh, about double the amount of mileage in order to get home. So throughout this entire wedding, I am trying to find a place to plug in. And the only place to plug in is a Tesla location, which I wasn't driving, so I was out of luck. I finally found one, a, space, a, a station like 30 miles away, and I'm driving down. It's very cold out. Apparently, the batteries don't like the cold. Lots of hills. EVs definitely don't like hills. And of course, it happened. The car dies on the side of the road, I was there for hours trying to get a tow At truck midnight? to pick it up. No one wanted it. It was, a, it was right. It was a little bit before midnight. It was around nine o'clock. Seven to nine o'clock was when this all started. But about 9 p.m. is where I'm just hanging out there. I think at that point I was there for an hour waiting. No tow truck would come. I was trying to get an Uber to come all the way out and pick me up. And of course, Hertz, which I rented from, no help whatsoever. It was such a nightmare. But it does wake people up, I hope, to the reality that we're nowhere near this green revolution of having EVs. Yeah, and you know, yeah, I, sorry to interrupt, but Hertz is also getting rid of a fifth of its electric car yep. fleet. Absolutely, and they're making the right decision. They should unload all of them. I, the only way an EV could work is if you have this set up at your home and you're really only talking about commuting to work, and maybe this is a second car if you can afford one. But if you're planning on going on any kind of long drive, just the idea of trying to plot out where you're going to stop to plug in and wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes for that battery to not even get to the top is just ludicrous. Yeah. Then you realize, we of course, when you're looking at a map, they don't have many places to plug Plug yeah, in. not a lot of stations, charging stations. You know, we have 16 Republican governors. They're sending a letter to the White House. You got to stop it with the electric car push. It's hurting consumers. The, you know, governors Doug Burgum, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Glenn Youngkin, they're saying working class voters are getting hit by higher energy costs, up yeah. nearly 33% under Biden, a rise of more than 20% in electricity costs as he pushes for green energy. You know, Jason, we just had an Arctic freeze that killed 95 people. People also could not start their electric cars in this Arctic freeze. Did wind and solar keep people warm in that? No, of course not. And especially depending on where it is we're talking about, there are places like Washington State doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight for several months out of the year. And we try to do wind power, but wind generally, we just also had a cold snap. It was incredibly cold. Ironically, the largest supplier of electricity and natural gas sent customers a note telling them when it was about 10 to 15 degrees, turn down your thermostats because our electricity grid can't handle the, the overload. So does anyone truly believe that we're actually ready for a transition to electricity away from natural gas? It's just not going to happen. So you can't plug in your cars. You can't turn on your heat when it's cold out. That's not a great environmental policy. Sounds that way. Jason Rance, thank you for sharing your story with us. We appreciate you. Thanks.